Today, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your next apps to fly.io automatically using GitHub Actions. All right, if you're new here, my name is Brian Morrison. I want to thank you for stopping by. I am a full stack developer and content creator here on YouTube, as well as writer on my blog, brianmorrison.me. But with that, let's go ahead and hop into it. Um, demonstrating the application we have set up here. This is a very basic to-do list app in written in Next.js. Uh, we got to start at the ground level, so to-do apps are kind of the most common thing to do. It's about the closest to a hello world you can get to. So what we can do here is say, this is my task, and hit enter, and then task gets added to it. All the data here is saved to local storage. There's no database, and I did that on purpose to make sure that we were eliminating any kind of complexities that were going on here. So what we're going to set up here is a workflow within GitHub Actions that will automatically deploy the latest version of our application into fly.io once a change is pushed into the main branch. So I already have this app deployed out to fly. If I come into fly, the fly dashboard rather, this is the dashboard for this specific app. And the first thing we want to do here is actually grab a token. If I come down and I click on tokens, we can see there's no deploy tokens here. A deploy token is a way for that we're going to set up GitHub Actions to authenticate into our Fly account in order to perform operations on our behalf. And in this case, it is to deploy this app. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new token here. And we don't really need to give it a name. Um, we're going to actually set the expiration to 48 hours because I want this thing to expire before I put the video out. I'll hit create deploy token. This is our deploy token. Um, you won't be able to see this at all once you close this view here. So make sure you copy this and save this off somewhere, uh, somewhere unique, special, wherever you can recall it back. I've copied this. I'm going to go ahead and go into the repository I have here as well. If I go into actions, there is no, there are no actions already set up here, which is why GitHub Actions is trying to recommend me configure one. We're going to configure an action, uh, excuse me, we're going to configure an action, but we're going to do this inside of the repository itself. We do, however, need to configure an action secret, which is going to hold the token, uh, the fly.io uh, deploy token. So I'm going to go ahead and go to settings. On the left-hand side, we're going to scroll down a little bit under Secrets and Variables. We're going to drop that down and click Actions. Inside of here, we're going to click Manage Environment Secrets. We're going to add a new environment, and we're going to name this environment Production. Click Configure Environment. Scroll down under Environment Secrets and click uh, Add Secret. We're going to use, not we're not going to paste the token there. We're going to set our secret to Fly Token. This is the name we're going to be using to reference this uh, this secret within our workflow. I'm going to paste in the value of this token. You can see this long string of gibberish, which is exactly what we need. We'll click Add Secret. And now that our secret is added inside of GitHub Actions, and well, rather inside of GitHub, we can head over to the repository to start working on the workflow. All right, so we're inside of VS Code. This is the repository that I have this entire app configured to live in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new file, and this is going to be in the folder. Whoop, not in app. Hold on, let's get out of here. Now let's create a new folder and call it .github forward slash workflows, which is where our workflow is going to live. We'll create a new file in there called deploy.yaml. Okay, so we're going to give this workflow a name of deploy to fly. It's going to run on any pushes that are done to the branch branches of main. So anytime a, a new push or a new commit is added to the main branch, we're going to go ahead and execute this workflow. Next, we need to define our jobs. So we're going to have one job named deploy. That's going to run on Ubuntu forward slash or hyphen latest. So all the steps to find in this job are going to run on an Ubuntu virtual machine. Since we had defined a, an, an environment for our environment variable, we have to specify that here. So we're going to say environment, and we're going to set that to production, which was the name of the environment that we created earlier. And then finally, we can get to the steps of this workflow. Now, these are going to be the step-by-step -step sequential steps that are going to occur inside of the virtual machine. So the first one is going to be named checkout code, and that's going to use the predefined action of actions forward slash checkout at v3. So version three of that action. Uh, next is going to be uh, install fly. And luckily, this is installing the fly command line interface. Luckily, um, fly actually has a predefined step to do this. And that is under super fly. If I could spell right super fly forward slash fly CTL actions forward slash setup fly CTL. And that's going to pull in the master branch. And then finally, we need one more step. And this is going to be named deploy. This is the actual step that's going to deploy our code out into fly. 
Um, so instead of using a predefined action here, we're going to uh, specify an inline uh, bash script. So that's going to say run, and that is going to be fly CTL deploy, specify a couple flags here, remote only. First one will make sure that all of this work is done inside of a dedicated build environment inside of Fly's uh, setup. And then the next one is gonna be the strategy, and that is immediate. If this isn't specified, there is a canary deployment that is executed, which basically means your code might not necessarily uh, hit everybody at the exact same time. So we wanna make sure that we're just taking the latest version of our build and pushing it out there for everybody to use immediately. Now, finally, we need to also specify the environment variable, that token that we had set up earlier. So we're going to set an environment variable of fly underscore API underscore token. This is what fly CTL actually uses by default in order to authenticate into the environment if you haven't run their authentication uh, subcommand first. And then this is going to be secrets. And then we actually set the name of our secret to fly underscore token. Um, and we'll go ahead and save this. Now, this is the entire workflow. In order to actually see this execute, we're gonna make a quick change to our home page. So I have this H1 tag defined here. It has the page name of next task. Let's go ahead and name this, change this to next to do's and save this. And then finally, let's commit all of this code up into GitHub. We will say uh, add workflow, flow, and update title. We'll commit this, we'll sync this, and then let's head back over to GitHub and watch this whole workflow execute. Okay, back inside of GitHub, let's go ahead and head to the Actions tab here. And here is our, our workflow that's being executed. If I click inside of here, drill down into this job, we can see we're already at the deploy step and everything is already executing uh, perfectly as we expect. So scrolling back up here a little bit, let's go ahead and collapse this deploy step. Uh, setup job happens with every single workflow. It's basically just getting things ready to go. Checkout code was the first step, which pulls in uh, the latest version of the repository inside of that virtual, into that virtual machine in order to run all the steps we have defined here. Install fly will install the command line interface. And then finally deploy is where all the work is being done in order to um, build the code can put it inside of the containers that Fly uses and then push it out to your environment. This process sometimes takes a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and pause the video and fast forward. Okay, so our workflow is complete. Let's go ahead back to the tab that has our uh, app open here. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page and we can see the title was changed to next to do's and I didn't actually have to run the command line to deploy uh, the latest version of this code. If you like this video and wanna see more like this, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below if you think I could have done anything a little bit differently or have anything you could possibly add to the video. If you want to find out what I'm into, at Brian MMDev is my handle on Twitter and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.